In the evening of 10th August 2021, residents of Aton Sudom Pwase were left in a state of shock following the death of a 10-year-old boy in the area. The deceased, Paul Boateng, was believed to be a class 3 pupil of Don Pwase MA Primary School. The police say Paul Boateng lived with a 70-year-old guardian who left him at home to go and ply her trade in the market. According to the police, it was reported to their outfit that the 10-year-old had allegedly committed suicide at Aton Subukru in the Asoka municipality of Ashanti region. The police disclosed this to City News that the information they had gathered showed that the 70-year-old guardian of the boy had gone to ply her trade in the market and was informed about the incident. During City News' visit to the house where the boy lived with his guardian, there was no one available as it has been locked. The police say a co-tenant in the house, who was the first to see what had happened, reported the incident to the Asokwa District Police Command on Tuesday evening. The police followed up and conveyed the body to the mortuary for an autopsy that is yet to be conducted. The Asokwa District Police Command says two persons, including Yao Akuaku Sapon, the young man who reported the incident to the police, have been arrested to assist with investigations. Chief Superintendent Christopher Mpieni is the District Police Commander for Asokwa. We had a report yesterday around 4.30 to 5.00 p.m. that he had hanged himself. So we followed up, saw the body hanged in a room, apparently using a, a nylon rope on a ceiling fan. Currently, as we speak, the body is at the morgue for an autopsy for us to determine the actual cause of death. Uh, however, we, we also tried to do some investigation around the vicinity and we were not convinced with the, form of the sort of information we gathered and as to what was reported. So currently, as we speak, we have two persons detained in our custody to assist us with investigations. And these two are Yao Ekyoko, Sapon and then Eric Jima. And they both happen to be relatives. Relative in the sense that they were all staying in the same compound with this young man, young guy who lost his life. And the reason why the two of them have been kept in ourselves to assist us is that we believe that the time the young man was seen around the vicinity and the time the report was made about his death. We needed some answers which were not forthcoming. So that's why we decided to keep the two in our custody. Residents here have been thrown into a state of shock and they have been wondering what could have possibly led to the death of the young boy. For the police, they say they will conduct thorough investigations into the matter to ascertain the actual cause of death. For City News, I am Fati Amin Ibrahim, Atonsu S. Lai. The unfortunate incident, according to witnesses, happened close to the Trinity Presbyterian Church and few meters behind the regional office of the National Investigations Bureau, NIB, on Wednesday morning. When City News got to the scene, residents had gathered still waiting for the police to come around. However, personnel from the NIB were there preventing the resident from getting closer to the crime scene. Shortly after that, a team of crime scene officials from both the Regional Police Command and the Divisional Command arrived at the scene to begin investigations. Around 10.25, I was coming out from my house. I was actually going to do something in town. And then I heard a certain guy who informed me that there's a of this church that there's been a murder of people in my house. So we all went to check and so I went to Oh, how and we all actually, we all tried calling the police, and then we are, some of us phoned the police. For me, I'm not having any security contacts. The man who has been identified as Alex Quartin was slashed in the truth with a kitchen knife found in another room next to where he laid at the crime scene when the team of crime scene investigators from the Eastern Regional Command and the Divisional Command extended their investigations into the other rooms. The late Alex Quartin 
have his mobile phone and a polythene bag next to him with an amount of money in his pocket, a situation which has sent shock and panic to residents in the area. Yeah, that was scary, yes. And uh, what I'm expecting the police to be doing is that they should intensify or they should make their present feel in this area since it looks more of a residential area and most of us sometimes leave for work and the place looks quiet. But as a resident I believe the place is getting scary and the police has to um, in fact increase their or intensify their uh, patrol around this place. Yeah. The incident happened a few meters behind the NIB and the Eastern Regional Police Command Galloway. Some residents in the area who spoke to City News say they are living in fear as this is the first time an incident of this kind has been witnessed and are therefore calling on the police to intensify day and night patrols to avert reoccurrence. <music>The six suspects, made up of two men and four women, were arrested on Wednesday afternoon from two separate houses in Kandiga by the Upper East Regional Police Command upon acting on intelligence. Two pump action firearms, over 500 ammunition, and an undisclosed amount of money was retrieved from the suspects. According to the police, the illegal assembly of the firearms and ammunition was for reprisal attacks. Speaking to City News at a press briefing in Bogatanga, Upper East Regional Police Commander, DCOP Dr. Shaibu Gariba said the suspects will be put before court for possession of firearms without authority. He added that police were also on a manhunt for two landlords whose houses were used for harboring the illegal firearms and ammunition. We set a number of houses at two different locations in the Kandika area. Those houses came out with some fundamental security breaches. And those security breaches involve the accumulation or amassing of arms and ammunition. For one of the houses, we discovered two pump action guns and then a quantity of um, ammunition. In the other two, we discovered ammunition of over 500 rounds of AK-47. In all these cases, we have some suspects that have been arrested numbering about six of them they are all in custody at the regional police headquarters the regional cid is handling this again the owners of those houses where we retrieve, we retrieve the ak ammunition and also some pump action guns have are currently at large and we are tracing them we have been able to narrow down on them we have noted that they are teachers, we have pursued them to their various schools, and we are currently doing everything to ensure that they are arrested. DCOP Gariba appealed to the people of the region to seek legal redress of disputes in courts, adding that the police has resolved to deal ruthlessly with persons harboring contrabands with the aim to destabilize the peace in the region. The Upper East Regional Police Command say it is bent on reducing or eliminating crime in the Upper East Region. However, it's appealed to the general public to volunteer sensitive information that would lead to the arrest of perpetrators of crime. Reporting from the police headquarters here in Bogatanga, I'm Frederick Aouni for City News.